Uh, this is a grade 10 experiment of a reaction in aqueous solution. So today we are going to make our solution. Here I'm holding a, a sodium chloride. And here I'm holding a, a solvent, which is H2O. And uh, our solvent, it acts as a solute, which is a sodium chloride. And uh, our solvent here, it acts as a H2O, which is our water. And as you can see, our water here, it has much quantity uh, than our, so our solute. So, the solvent is the, sub is the component that dissolves the, the solute. And the solute is the component that dissolves in the, in the solvent. So, I'm going to add a two teaspoons of our solid, which is sodium chloride, inside our solvent. And let's observe the, the changes. One, two. As we can see, our solute inside our solvent, some of the, some of the particles dissociate inside this uh, solvent. So from our observation, we can see that some of the particles of a, of a solid are still under the, the beaker. So this process, we call it a, it a hydration because some individual ions are surrounded by water molecule inside this beaker. So we're going to, we're, we're going to stir this solution in order for it to be complete. Let's stir it, guys. As we are stirring, we can observe the changes. The ions inside our solvent are dissolving, are dissociating. Right? So our solution, guys, is supposed to be homogeneous solution, meaning our solute is supposed to disso dissolve completely inside our solvent. So now our, our reaction is, is complete, it's completely dissolved. And we call it this particular a reaction, a dissociation a reaction, because a solute breaks into the constituent ions inside our solvent. Uh, okay guys, uh, now in reaction in aqueous solution, we have to focus we have to know the key weights under the reaction in aqueous solution. As we have seen our experiment, we see that we created what? A solution. We have to understand the term solution. What is a solution? A solution a homogeneous mixture of two or more substances. As we have seen our, our experiment, when we mix the first substance, which is our solute, inside our second substances, which is our solvent, we make what? A solution, right? So, number two, the term aqueous, the term aqueous, the term aqueous simply means water, simply means a solvent, which is water. Then, when it combines with the, with the solution, in general, the term aqueous solution, a homogeneous solution in which a solvent is water, right? So meaning our, our solute inside this, our solute inside this beaker here is in aqueous, is in aqueous form, right? So the term solvent, as I already explained it, is the component, is the, is the component that does the, the dissolving. Meaning, the term solvent is the one that dissolves our solute. So, the, the fourth one, solute. Solute, in most cases, are in a ionic form. So, our solute, our solute here, which is sodium chloride, which is N, 
ACL in what? In solid form. Is our solute and is the substances that uh, dissolve in a solvent. So let's check our last uh, term, which is ionic compound. Ionic compound are compound made up with a cation and anion. In other words, for example, still our sodium chloride in a solid form is our ionic compound because when it enters into our solvent it dissociates we're going to represent our experiment by using a, a structures so firstly we're going to represent the structure of a, our solute which is a sodium chloride so originally the structure of our solute it will be in this form it is the crystal structure it is a crystal crystal structure of sodium chloride so initially our 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 solute as we can see the particles are compact are, are compact right so the structure is going to be like this we're going to have the compact structure where the particles are close together and remember our solute is in what in, is in a solid form meaning the particles are are close together and it is our ionic compound meaning it has what a cations and anions meaning we'll have what a positive ion and negative ion positive ion negative ion positive ion negative ion positive ion and the positive one represent what a sodium ion and the negative one represent the chlorine ion. This one, because it's a positively charged, we call it what? A cation. And this one, because it is a negatively charged, we call it what? An anion. That's why our solid, we call it what? An ionic compound. Now, let's represent the structure of our solute inside our solvent. So, our structure it will, be, it will be like this we will have what our individual individual ion of positive and our individual ion will be surrounded by what by water molecule water molecule and water molecule it has what two hydrogen and one oxygen and oxygen is in what is in negative ion and we have what a positive ion from hydrogen and another positive ion from hydrogen we'll have another water molecule here negative positive positive and another water water molecule here which is negative positive and positive as you can see the individual ion of sodium is surrounded by what by three water molecule in other words but it's supposed to be surrounded all of it is supposed each ion will be surrounded by by water molecule so now let's write an individual ion of chlorine and still is yeah but surrounded by what by each water molecule We'll have positive ion representing hydrogen and negative for oxygen, negative, positive, 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 neg negative. Okay, the positive ion, individual positive ion represent sodium ion in what? In aqueous solution. And the negative ion represent the chlorine ion in what? In aqueous solution okay now 
let's write our chemical equation of what a solute inside our solvent okay now we'll have what our original initially initially we have what our sodium fluoride in what in solid form and it will form what a forward reaction a forward reaction of what the sodium ion in what in aqueous solution and here guys our h2o right so this sodium chloride it breaks into its constituents ion meaning we will have what plus chlorine ion in what in aqueous solution right and this particular chemical reaction we call it it what a dissociation chemical reaction because a dissociation chemical reaction is the process whereby a compound a breaks into its constituent ions when dissolved in a solvent as you can see our sodium chloride it breaks into its constituent ions right okay now let's do a, a work example of what of another compound which is the a silver nitrate when dissolved in a, a solvent so we'll have what a silver nitrate in what in solid form so it will form what a forward reaction of remember silver when it enters into our our solvent it will break into its constituent ion so we'll have what a silver ion in what in aqueous solution plus a nitrate ion in what in aqueous solution right and this particular worked example we call it what a dissociation chemical reaction okay uh, this it was uh, our foundational basics of what a grade 10 a reaction in aqueous solution so guys we have a, a part one activity of what a reaction in aqueous solution so let's check our activity and that activity guys you will find the solution in another video in part two our part two videos is where you are going to have the solutions of what of those compounds because now we want to check your understanding of the concept this it, it was just an introduction of grade 10 reaction in aqueous solution uh, thank you guys thank you guys uh, thank you for watching uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe uh, button and hit the thumb peace guys